Welcome back to the episode on the Good morning. Good morning. It's like someone from our camp. <coughs> See what's happening in the city of Saint Denis. How are you guys doing, man? Welcome back to another episode. Let me mention the stream. What are you doing? Stream is about. Who you, bro? But do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. No, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen. Don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. Mm -hmm. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine. It'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Bro, I can't go all the way. Hold on. Actually, my gaming headset is uh, dying. Your boy might not be having the charger for this bitch. So let me see. I hope that works. Okay, let's go. Can I fast travel there? I think I could.
Go on, get going. Malédiction. Buy me a drink, mon ami, huh? Look out! Sure, what you want? Brandy! Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars <coughs> a glass. Oh, better be good, then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. They just say Santé. Ah, it's Looks quite like a country you're saved. feeling here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world, painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina... That is truth. Breasts wow. is truth. Art wow. is for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Wow, that was so interesting. If no one else will buy me a drink, I will go. Die, die, idiot. What are you? That guy is so crazy. Well, I think he just found us money. He is a con man. He finessed us money, bro. Backings. Okay. I love meeting new people, bro. Hello, sir. Hello. <laughs> Did 
you. Kind sir. Will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. I'm a good person because I'm rich. Bless you, <laughs> sir. How you getting you. on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> Well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us, but slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner... The one with the green door? Well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Mrs. Those clothes don't really suit you, okay? Welcome back, sir. So, buy it or sell it. I've been good me. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. Oh, I can't buy this yet. Ah, let's buy some cell. We'll be better. We'll be all better. Oh, this is crazy. Every one of my garments is a little different, as every pelt is a little different. You'll find them nowhere else. Is that guy speaking some... I can't afford this guy. I mean, they have blocked them. I can't like buy right now. Hey. Hello, mister. How can I help? Yes, oh, no. Hello. Nice to see you, lady. Howdy, mister. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Well, it's all yours. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. How do? You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Looking for anything in particular? Yeah, I'll, I'll know when I see it. Got a Things over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? Uh, I ain't gonna well, know why. You just let me know if I can help at all. Huh? 
Aber ich will so nicht auf schon Ich hab die gute Kamera da. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Something don't seem right. Sir, uh, what are you doing back there? I was back here. Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just an old bookcase. Uh, seen better days. I must ask you to... How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door. Now. Oh, okay, okay. Just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Come on. You don't have to clean me out. I'm really not a bad man. You are. This is my brother's store. I I'm just watching it while he's away. Did I kill him? Uh, no. <laughs> Let me do it, I swear. I'll be the link. Hello? Quién es? Siguen ahí, por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Now don't worry, I'm on your side. Quién eres? Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Señor, muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're going to be all right now. I promise. How the guys don't waiting for me, but if he's waiting for me, I got a six brown golden gun with bullets on his name, bro. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way, not much farther. Poor bastards. Brother, Brother Dorkin's friend, Arthur. 
Arthur Morgan. Come on. Now you were right. Found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. <coughs> That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh, here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Nah. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Yeah, my brother. Yeah, I got you, man. Don't worry, bro. I've been, I've been low before. Actually, I've, lately, I've been, like, really low, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. Find the time to do something. Oh, no. I've been doing this for the first time. Really? Let's go, boy. Okay, let's see what's happening close by so that we can uh, go do it because I still want to do it. Uh, I mean, uh, if I go to Dutch, that's the main mission, bro. Who's Angie? Let's see what Dutch is saying out here, bro. There you are. Come on, keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <sighs> We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Well, looks like we're up in the place. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, it's we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one dying. That's your choice. Take it. Not mine. Kindly open that gate and let my acquaintance inside. Open the gate. Come on. And let my These quit. folks must have some money. Yeah. Give me your money. It ain't worth dying. Okay. Fine, it's yours. There's nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. Where okay then, partner. Behave. Hold still. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! Uh, 
There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Burn down! We got you surrounded! That's greasy son of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go! Woo! Now! Go! Wow. Does this trolley go to Tahiti? Guys, I can this much I can yeah, I come back to it.
not even kill the host. Nigga! Okay, boss, let's move! I'm Hold on.
Is that place, bro? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Yeah, and we each got. Fifteen dollars. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So... What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that? <clears throat> Especially after that. <clears throat> I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. The gun has a lot of money. It's almost even as crazy. I can't believe Bruno set us up. So let's see what's happening next. Are we gonna rob the bank today? Or not? You're getting robbed, so slow up there. Ain't no one will cry if I shoot you dead. Right now. Say goodbye. Let's see about this. Ah! 
Yeah, we're done, Jim. Should have just given it to me. You dead for 50 cents? Happy to, you know. Oh, you kind, Mister. I'm a happy. What? Anyway. If he uh, be so kind to take me to Lagrange, that's where I'm from. That's where my people is from. Well, where's that, bro? Is that far? It is far, man. Come on. Really? <coughs> really? Why did I agree to do that, bro? The other way is... Ah, oh, shit. Let me see. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Yeah. Don't normally trust no outside man. No offense, mister. Just don't trust him much. Right, all right, ma'am. I don't trust him much either. Go! You seem like a horse rider, yeah, your whole life I've been. Horse don't help much in Lagrano. Need a horse can swim fine as a duck be much more used to us. Last horse he butt, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came and ripped his leg off. The horse just wobbling in the water, another gator came and took the other leg. Then the horse fell and died for a part time and took up out with a rifle on him. And there's no word of lie. All right there, boy. Jeez. You sure it's the horse that's the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. Where was it? Legrat? Well, that's how life is. Hmm. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. Maybe I don't want roots. How about that? I'm not looking to settle. You think when was the last time you spent the week in the same bed? How long ago was that? I asked you, but it was a long time. No offense, but I bet it's been a long time for you. We getting close, don't die or not. Okay, here's good. Thank you, mister. Please let me give you this on account of you being so kind. Hey's been coming up short again over at the Orange Plantation. Ain't no shot to Hope I'd never have to be on that horse again, dang animals. Man. Took me less than a minute to get there. Maybe we only have two minutes to go back to where that is. Wow. Yeah. That's your boy. Yeah. Easy there. Now. 
I move my hand. Easy, easy. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. <laughs> a bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. 
before the year is out. We are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay, fella. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Ah. Feels like Jose has lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. You just got a lot of pop. That's what's on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. <coughs> I am not forcing anybody to stay. So, you guys met through this so either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No. He'd say, let's go. Anyway, here we are. Micah. Let me do the talking. Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, 
Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you're bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number, big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the higher ground. Hmm, well, the ground it feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why eating in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Mr. Arthur, this trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ooh. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. 
What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this could wait. Let's go. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Someone there? You're in a tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I. No. Okay. <laughs> and uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. Go! 
got the scab. It's over here. <clears throat> Stuck. Oh, it's coming, bro. Yeah. I got it loose. Go. Good man. All right, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. <laughs> Damn. I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we Is it a tree? To jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. It won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> we'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. So died, bro. Come here. No, stop. Come on, come on, quickly. Quick. Oh, hurt pretty bad. This should be okay. Get in. Finish that son of a bitch, Arthur. We're gonna be all right, Jules. Just hold on. Shoot that thing. Your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. Ah. 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 
There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I got you. I've stopped the bleeding. I think you'll be okay if you don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him! Dead ahead of us. You see him? Shoot! Okay. I think it's had enough. Now, Jesus. Can we get back now? You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's the usual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big ones is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with me. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. A bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. We got monsters out here. Well. Well, that was wild, guys. That's that. That's just gone. Well, it was heavy as fuck, man. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching the episode, I'm gonna end the episode here today. I got some more to be at, man, but next time I come back, I'm gonna play the game. You know, he's gonna go rob the bank and for me, that's what's up. Uh, till next time guys, peace.